Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, we're going to try two canned chilies that I've never tried before. The first one is Van Camp's, and I associate Van Camp's more with beanie weenies and pork and beans. I never knew they made a chili. And the other chili is Marie Callender's Angus Beef Chili with beans. I never knew that Marie Callender's had canned food. I associate them more with frozen dinners. Let's go over the Van Camp's Chili with Beans first. This 15 ounce can costs $1.99. Here's the ingredients, and I'm surprised. It doesn't have any TVP or other crap in it. They used oatmeal instead. That's kind of intriguing to me. The serving size is the whole can, which has 410 calories, 24 grams of total fat, one gram of trans fat, 30 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,020 milligrams of sodium, 34 grams of carbohydrates, and 15 grams of protein. Now let's go over the Marie Callender's Angus Chili with Beans. This 15 ounce can costs $2.78. Marie Callender's Angus Beef Chili is hearty, delicious, and packed with 25 grams of protein per serving. This prepared meal is filled with hearty Angus beef, beans, and seasonings that will delight your taste buds. Enjoy a warm, satisfying dinner without the prep and cleanup with this tasty microwave meal. For cozy nights when you don't want to cook, convenient for lunches and late night snacks. Plus there are no artificial flavors and no artificial colors or preservatives. Just quality ingredients that never sacrifice taste. Choose Marie Callender's and choose made from scratch flavor in a few simple steps. Here's the ingredient list and again, I'm impressed. There's no TVP or other crap in it. The serving size is the whole 15 ounce can which has 320 calories, 18 grams of total fat, seven grams of saturated fat, one gram of trans fat, one gram of polyunsaturated fat, eight grams of monounsaturated fat, 45 milligrams of cholesterol, 1200 milligrams of sodium, 25 grams of carbohydrates, eight grams of fiber, two grams of sugars, and 15 grams of protein. Now let's get these chilies out of the can and into the bowl and heat it up. Starting with the Van Camps. It smelled pretty good as soon as I opened up the can, and it's got like a muddy color to it. I don't know, it's kind of a strange color, but the important thing is how it tastes. So let's put this in the microwave for about two and a half to three minutes. Now let's get the Marie Callender's out of the can, into the bowl, and heat it up. This one also has a brown muddy color to it, but it did smell good, just like the Van Camp's. Now it goes into the microwave for two and a half to three minutes. Here's the Van Camps after heating for three minutes in the microwave. So let's give it a stir and then give it a taste. At this point, not only was I hungry, but I was salivating. I love chili. So now into the pie hole and down the gullet. Honestly, I wasn't expecting much from the Van Camp's chili, but it's pretty darn good. Good enough to have a second bite. This chili had more meat in it than it did beans, which is surprising, and it also had a really nice flavor and spice to it. Earlier, I mentioned it had oatmeal in it, and you don't even know what's in there. Now here's the Marie Callender's after microwaving for three minutes, and I'm not really sure what happened to it. As you can see, it did a lot of spitting and spattering, unlike the Van Camp's. For both cans of chili, I heated them up exactly the same way. One didn't make a mess, and one did make a mess. I don't know why. If you do, leave it in the comments. The Marie Callender certainly has a better color to it. So we gave it a good mix and gave it a try. So once again, into my face orifice and down the gullet it went. Now this also had a nice flavor and spice to it. And I think it had more beans in it than it did meat, unlike the Van Camps. But it was pretty darn good, just like the Van Camps. And just like the Van Camps, it was good enough to have another bite. And just like the first bite, it was pretty darn good. I thought both of these chilies were very good. One had more meat in it, and one had more beans in it. But they both tasted very good. I think they both deserve a score of 7 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.